So I went to um, Sam's Club and they have these dragon fruit um, box of fruits for $7.50 or something like that. And I thought that was a good price because you get three um, for $7.49 or $0.59. Cents. And versus if you go to the grocery store, you have you pay $7.49 per pound, and which ends up being only one and a half fruit, um, one and a half of a fruit. So, um, yeah, that this was a better bargain. Anyway, I try to choose one with um, a little bit of longer stem. Um, I, I learn in YouTube that you can probably soak these in water and it might root for you. So I'm gonna see if that is legit and test it out. The thing is, it looks like mine is a little bit moldy. I don't know. I'm gonna dip it in some benzoyl peroxide and water um, mixture and see if I can get rid of it. And I'm gonna soak it in water um, for about a couple of weeks and see how that turns out. Sorry for my voice, I'm currently a little sick. My daughter gave me the flu, and so I'm trying to um, still recover from that. Anyway, stay tuned. So, if you're wondering what the inside of a yellow dragon fruit looks like, it looks like this. I'm doing a little experiment where I took out the stem and um, see if it would still be viable um, to grow it from there. Even though there's a little bit of mold on it, I decided to dip it in a mixture of carbon dioxide and um, water, 50-50, and see, I know carbon, di carbon dioxide, not carbon dioxide, hydrogen peroxide, sorry. I know hydrogen peroxide mostly kills bacteria, but um, give it a shot just in case. Anyway, this is just a home experiment, and this is another one that um, I cut to show you the inside of a dragon fruit. So, it looks like the stem from the dragon fruit that I showed you previously may be a goner because of so much mold. I don't know if you can see it very well. The black stuff is all the moldy. I tried to salvage it using a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water. It doesn't seem to be working so um, what I'm going to try to do is if there's a little bit prickly there's um, a prickly side right here right here is one more left of prickly side I'm going to see if I can cut this and graft it to an existing one I have outside and see if that one um, survives okay stay tuned So I also learned this in YouTube, um, you want to get a V-shaped cut of the node, um, and you probably should be using clean um, scissors, um, this was just washed, so I'll try to use it. I don't have the special tool to do it, so again, this is just um, a random DIY experiment to see if um, the video shown in YouTube is legit. and. Um, hopefully um, also get a successful result so I'm just cutting um, let me try to see if I can cut this little um, sharp one right here and I'm just going to cut it into a V shape and then I'm going to um, very carefully tape it onto the existing one I have outside since I don't think this stem is viable anymore or salvageable because of because ah, I have seen on me because of the amount of mold there are on it so I'm not going to try salvage it instead I'm going to see if I can salvage um, it using um, the graph method and so I was able to cut that end off and 
coming up view, sorry. <laughs> it's a video. I was able to cut this off. Kind of the shape out of it. And I'm gonna do the same thing outside. This is my dragon fruit outside. Um, it's kind of rainy and cloudy right now. So, um, I thought it would be a good time to do it so that it won't dry out as much so easily. And um, I haven't had time to create a stock, root stock from this plant. And so I'm going to see if I can just graft it onto an existing one I have already. Um, so this is, I was thinking, since the other ones are all so busy and grown, I wanted to do it on this one that I um, added on to it added on to recently or a few months ago so I'm gonna see if I can add it or graft it onto one of these nodes so I decided to remove this little piece of um, dragon fruit branch from the stalk I had shown earlier and um so that it can focus when I graft it it can focus all this energy on just um, the newly graft piece and I don't know because I also just repotted it so it might be too much but this is an experiment so we'll see hopefully it works um, I'm gonna also cut this off so it can focus its energy on the graph the, the triangle graph I'm gonna attach and I'm going to remove all the extras, extra node, so again, it can focus on the, the graph, okay? I'm going to pause and do it myself, um, get back to you, because I don't have anybody to hold the camera. So I'll be right back. So I removed the two branches that were attached to this, and um, now... I'm going to remove all the other nodes as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and graph this triangle piece by cutting the same size of it um, on the plant. It's like so. By the way, I, go, I went ahead and sterilized my cutter um, using rubbing alcohol before using it, so just FYI. Always use a clean utensil um, when you're doing this so you don't spread any or contaminate any germ, any bacteria onto your plant. So I did a V cut and I'm gonna attach it like this. I don't have masking tape. Oh no, and I may have cut too deep, well, which I was afraid to, and so. No worries, plan B is to um, use a different node. So luckily, we have another one right here, and another one right here. We're going to go ahead and do this one. I probably should draw my node so I don't make a mess. I mean, I missed another mistake. Um, so that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and cut it like this, and then cut it again. something that fits perfectly better than the previous one I did and so it's supposed to fit just perfectly like that and you're supposed to secure it and tape it I don't have masking tape so I have these blue tape and it's starting to rain so I'm hoping to just do this before it pours um, you're supposed to mask it down so that it doesn't dry out. Oh, it's starting to rain, but the sun 
is also coming, so I'm not sure what is happening right now, but hopefully I can finish this graph right here before it truly pours. Okay. Um, there's the graph. Just like that. And we're gonna close this up and make sure nothing seals it tight. Make sure nothing gets to it. I'm gonna trick the plant thinking that this is its node where it's supposed to grow. Okay. I don't have medical tape, so I'm fully improvising. A lot of my stuff here that I learned on YouTube. So I have a lot of blue tape, and so that's what I'm using. I'm a rookie gardener, so um, some of my methods may be unconventional because I like to improvise. Um, but here we are. It works. And, you know, blue tape is supposed to um, be easy to remove later. Okay, so they said that to leave it like this for about two weeks or ten days, ten to fifteen days, I believe and to cover it with a plastic bag. So, that is what we have. There's the graph. Okay, see, yep, yeah, that's the graph that we have right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these other extra nodes so it can focus its growth on the existing node that we had grafted. All right, I hope you can see that. It might be a little blurry but it looks like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all the extra ones. All right, have a good day. I forgot to mention, um, after you graph your little V-cut right here, you're supposed to cover it in a bag and keep it in the shade for two weeks. Also label it so you know um, how long you should take it out. Um, how long you should keep it bagged and covered and when you should take it out to the sun. Anyways, wish me luck. Uh, that's all I have and see you in a couple weeks.